I mean, you can't have enough of those happy-go-lucky characters and every single happy copy lucky f film and then they have like, and then they have like, 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 like Judy Holtz, a happy-go-lucky character, and then this character, Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Out and Shades, and we call review rents you mean things you may have seen, and welcome back to... Uh, Pick your poison. Right. Now, today I have an interesting question for you. In the future, we, we could both be family men. Yeah, yeah. If... In, in, in big families, you have to watch films with your family. You lose yes, yourself in Absolutely, it. yes. I mean, the films that would you watch for your children. Or Only for your children. Or for your significant others. Or, or your person who has no concepts of reality, just like the reality and scared of it. It, it may not be that bad. Oh, come on. It, look, anyway, point is, we represent these like food agreements, so we have the films. The Trolls and Trolls in Central Park. If you don't know these films, we'll give you a quick tip. Trolls is a nice, sweet movie full of sugary preservatives, good for you and the family. So, the person who isn't talking or talking about the film will be enjoying a lovely treat of pink lemonade yeah. and washing it down with some lovely candy hearts. Yeah, something sugary, something that gives you diabetes, and it gives you energy for a short burst. But all in all, that seems to be freezing well. Well, in Solar Troll Park, uh, Trolls in by a film by Don Blue, film, is it? With, yeah. Uh, yeah, Don Blue or Don DeLuise into it, is Celery, and uh, which is basically celery here, and uh, cranberry juice, which is... This, this, is, this is because in the film, a major theme is about a troll who likes to plant things. So and gardening. So these are the greenery foods here. And cranberry has a bit of a twist to it, but a very quite of a um, flavour on it. And... Um, it's the, good for the heart, it's good for you feeling... It's quite a little bit sugary uh, to it, but it's at least the cranberries to it, and then it's fruit, and it can be quite bland, though, because the uh, very dryness of the celery can yeah, get grating. Spo spoiler warning for when we start talking about Troll in Central Park, I don't like celery. Yeah. Uh, and this is organic. Oh God. Anyway, let's begin. <laughs> What can I do about trolls? Okay, so you have a main character who tells you a brief story about how trolls are being eaten for their happiness. Because these bugger trolls are called barons, are they called right? Belrogs, something the like that. The Belrogs, something like that. And the main character's name. I am DJ. Chip. What, what the name is the, what the heck name is it? Just what is the name? Name. Oh, uh, uh, she's played by Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick, played by Anna Kendrick. What character? Someone. Uh, but anyway, the place of someone, I think the character troll, is basically runs a thing where they got taken from Boat of Baron, and it's up to her to rescue him, while well, being helped about by a uh, cynical um, grey troll, voiced by Justin Timberlake. Yes, and basically it's up to them to... Oh, it's not her. Before we go any further, it's... As we all know on Hat and Shade, Sam here loves to analyse and think about films, don't you? You have to use your brain. Well, well, now, well let me finish up what I'm trying to say. No, no, We need to also talk about this new game I've made up, permanently for Hat and Shades. This is about a kid's movie that's good for emotion, not thinking. So every time you think, I'm going to hit you with a pillow. Okay. Can I at least describe it? Yes, go on. Okay, to finish up, basically, it's about a princess who, who wants a protective baron for all the troll that have been taken for all these big people because they want to eat them for happiness and yearly. And just up to her and this great troll friend to save the, the people there. Now, I can honestly say about that. Anything else? Like, well, what can I think? Do you want to say anything about it? It's a nice little story about happiness, overcoming adversity, and hugs. Lots and yeah, lots of Yeah, and, hugs. okay, let's be smart about the, the plot holes to it. Okay, well, what can I say to it about that? Well, the character of the Baron has the problems of not understanding happiness, which is fairly reasonable, except because that they, they have marriage, and uh, they have love. Like, ah! <laughs> Understandably, that they don't understand what happiness is, since they have no way to understand about happiness. It's like, <laughs> ah! Okay, understandably, there was no reason. I mean, they don't know what love is. It's understandable. They don't really know what love is. So there's no concepts of 
any sin anyone has a uh, relationships or music or anything. Not like there's a roar blade in the end of the halfway of the film or there's some damp soft music they play in the background or they sing or anything that's all that. And okay, the portrait simply is the storyline is borderline cringe as well as just absolutely flattered and sugary saturated. It doesn't represent anything in reality. It doesn't necessarily have any concept. I mean, the whole stupid thing about the whole love and uh, happiness thing is godly forceful and contrived, as John Tears. Now, as what well, the story, have some love, heart, and lemonade to cheer yourself. <sighs> oh, well, I'll let you explain about it, please. Basically, the common gist is you know from the beginning that they can experience happiness, but they don't know they can experience happiness, so they eat the trolls as a shortcut. It's like a drugs metaphor. I saw, I saw people actually talk about this, it's like a drugs metaphor, because, you know, happiness, all of a sudden happy... I mean, look at this happy face, he has the, shu the sugar of happiness. <coughs> oh, how happy he is, see? Just like in Trolls, how they have hourly hugs in the story. Okay, can we... Can, yeah, can you at least describe what it is? What do you think of the, the story, Jen? It's quite good. Quite good? It's quite good. You don't find that... Problematic. You don't find it issue. You don't no. find it at all. Oh. You don't find how and you got to stupid it is. The whole point of happiness. Well, they don't understand about happiness. I mean, for example, I I could say about it simply that that whole point. They don't understand about happiness. Yet they seem to have a system of communication and businesses and fashion and. I mean, it's reasonably well. It seems like very reasonable what happiness, despite that how idiotically and. and in questionable it is because apparently you need to eat these trolls to understand about happiness. You need to um, not to understand, but I certainly the the, the ha I mean, it, really, you think of, don't, well, it's not the best thing to do is not to understand about it because okay, what are we trying to say about the troll it's thing? About, it's about the journey, the power of friendship, and hugs. Which has no repercussions whatsoever, since it's the reason why that they lost the troll because they're too busy being distracted of their own happiness and causing it. Or the one thing character is telling them to be careful, otherwise things will go bad. And but he's the not like oh, guess what? Things going bad because that's the big creature that wants to take over. Okay, the storyline itself is fairly reasonable without any faults. It's I mean, very forced sometimes, and it's very, 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 very brainless. I mean... I want more for the look. Anyway, the point is, it's, it's pretty... Poor. Oh. Sam? <sighs> Okay, okay, in the, during the time that trolls are essentially uh, from, uh, okay, generally there's a big wing character who's in the world of trolls where they're always bad and wicked because they literally said themselves they're bad and wicked. I'm a bad troll, and not because they try to be evil for some reason. Because you don't know though, everyone loves to be hated and uh, be worse. Because in, when you come to the villains, they love to be hated for some reason. It just it, that happens. Basic, and then there's one troll who's a good troll who likes um, gardens and flowers and they have animated epimorphic flowers over when they move around and sing and dance and happy lives and they, they probably saw you could hear Disney squeaming in his ear. <laughs> Something like that. The Corbin Mouse? Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to be fair. Um, generally he got cast out into a forsakenly the court and been uh, from a heresy and they've been cast out and then he been sent to the land Central Park in New York! Oh no! Um, potentially he raised there, and then Bunch of Chums comes into and potentially there's some like playgrounds and happy days, and then. then they, 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 they bounce, they smile. And then whimsical things happen. Magic, dreams, okay, whatever. So, thoughts on the story? Gosh, it's bland. It's just really understandable that yes. it shows a great sense of emotion with. With at all run, I mean, it tells such good emotion that you almost forgot what the actual plot it, is. It's the thing. This was my face watching the Trolls movie, even though I, it was simple. Yes. This is my face watching Trolls Central Park. Yes. I mean, it is kind of film that is. Good. Wait, wait, wait. You, Don Blue animation is fantastic. You, you feel dumber watching it. But it does have, for something enough for me, it has a very uh, muted colours. 
a bit for the film. Like the yeah, it's, not colors, it's not that bright, not that colourful. It's quite very muted. Wait, are you saying that hand drawn animation looks less pretty than CGI? I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying is that the way they use doesn't seem to brighten up the contrast, the colours. I mean, I'm pretty sure that in say a previous film, the past, uh, they put the volume up and light a bit because it looks a bit dim coloured. I mean, obviously you can digitize them anyway, like an anime. Mm. But the thing is, it just very looks bland. They're very it's bland, colorless, boring. Oh and God, also, it's boring. And also, there's just no points to the story. Like, what's the concepts about it? I mean, you got main. I character. think it's less and less and less. Uh, okay, oh, it's about learning. You can get your own way if you just ask again. Oh yeah, because the main guy is like, I want to do what I want to do. It's like, and that's the that's whole a, whiny little boy. A, a little taller, a little above all toddlers under this is like that young uh, and generally I was also talking about follow your dreams and all it, it, it's like a film that's pleasing for children but I forget the entertainment it's, a, it's the thing that's similar about both movies it's all about being positive and just or pandering to children to a very dis 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 stupid degree I mean we're looking at this great but also there's a very simple thought about good and evil it's just I hate this idea that alignment of moral this simplistic line. Well, what we need is characters who have like, uh, shades of grey. Uh, no, no, it's just that the complex thing. You see, no, no, because that just shows the that's the free problem. Like, like, why does the trolls have to be the goblins or the other trolls have to be evil? Why do they want to be evil? What's the purpose because, of evil? Because they're bad trolls. And be hated, and be just cast out, shamed. Well, it's like cartoons. Out. It's like old cartoons and characters said, "I'm a bad guy." No, no, why? Because they're the bad guys. Why? Do you so you want to be hated then? Yes. You want to be loved. No one likes they're, you. They're so weird. alone. Yes. Cast out. They're not I have nothing to give. Them. People hunt you down. People are ashamed of you. Bitch, you witch hunts. People they're, want demonize you. I'm People demonize you. Hang on. Oh, by the way. Shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. Point is that it has a very extremely simplistic align or more alignment. I mean, you have the main lead character. They did a little sing along as well. Oh, but it's all singles on the songs as well because we have to have it. And um, and else in other to do it, it just seems to be the characters. And but although it's a very blind amigo, but ah. Uh. In a nutshell, Trolls in Central Park is a very cult, a very muted and bland film. Bland is celery dry because you end up chewing and chewing. There's greenery you into it over. But it's quite short. It has a little bit of spark of uh, sweet to it, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, Troll is a very high energy one, which is uh, not, quite not, like nothing but lemonade. sugar and calories. Which is kind of like equivalent to um, gives you energy, gives you spark to it. But if you put it up, you'll make you tired and give you just essentially a, a, a very low energy because it does you doesn't help you in the mood way. It doesn't have much substance to it. Very low substance, very low uh, energy, very low ingredients to keep you alive. It just keeps you forgetting about what things around you. Yeah. Anyway, this has been another edition of Pick Your Poison from Hat and Shades. Yeah. This is Sam Judge. Yeah. I'm Matt Davies. And remember our, mo our new motto, don't think. Well... <laughs>